I, I want to first start out by uh, giving my condolences to the uh, families that were impacted yesterday uh, with the mass shooting uh, in Raleigh, a very unfortunate and senseless act, uh, and uh, definitely praying for them um, as they go through their healing process. Uh, as for as practice, I thought we had a great uh, day of practice. We finished the week out uh, the way I wanted to with uh, a lot of urgency, uh, up-tempo, uh, attention to details. I thought the guys uh, communicated well, something that we expressed and talked about yesterday that we needed to improve on. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, in regards to uh, the injury report, uh, Baker had a great workout this morning. Uh, he looked good. Uh, we're still waiting on the last preliminary uh, MRI. Uh, but right now, I'm going with PJ as a starter. And uh, I think Baker, hopefully, he would be there uh, with availability to be able to suit up for it. So uh, with that, I'll take your further questions. When you say he worked out, was it, it was just on the side with coaches? And uh, we worked out uh, in the indoor, the shrimp uh, staff took him through a very intense workout, um, good movement, change of direction, really trying to put some pressure uh, on his foot, on his ankle. Uh, he threw the ball well, sprinting out uh, right, left. Uh, he's a very tough guy, uh, very tough, mentally tough as well. So um, we're just going to really wait and see the final report coming back from the MRI. So you would, he could be the backup then? Uh, he definitely could be the backup, you know. Uh, I still think Easton had a great week of practice, but you know, with the experience that Baker has, if I feel very confident in the report that comes back, uh, I would love to dress him up as the backup. You got a uh, coach, correct me if I'm wrong, 4 p.m. Saturday to activate Jacob if you wanted to do that. Yeah, and you know, chances are we probably end up making that decision earlier uh, than later. So guys understand who's up and who's playing so they can prepare well. Where do you see JC trending? Is he in, heading in the right direction with his injury? Or? Uh, he is. He is. One thing I don't want to do because we still feel like you know we got somewhat of a long season left, and I don't want to have a setback with him. Uh, JC is one of the hardest working guys on this team, and I know when he's ready to come back, he'll be there. He had great progress this week. Uh, I don't want to push it. You know, we're coming back uh, next week with a divisional opponent. Hopefully, he'll be ready then. What do you think about some of those other guys that might be filling in for him if he is unable to go? Uh, very confident in uh, Keith Taylor. Uh, very confident in uh, Tay Hayes. You know, um, all those guys that I feel like may have the opportunity to better step up and play. So um, I don't think, you know, at all, there's no reservations about those guys being in there. So what do you kind of envision as your secondary this week? Uh, you know, right now, you got uh, Xavier Woods. He's back. You know, you got Miles. Uh, still back in the secondary as a safety, and then you also have Justin Burris. So uh, we're good at that position along with, um, you know, Champ. And then at the corner position, you got CJ, you got uh, Dante, and you got uh, Keith Taylor as well as um, uh, Tay Hayes. So uh, we got a lot of guys that's been, you know, with us since OTA has been around here. They understand the system. They know exactly what needs to be done. Uh, so, again, I have no reservations about those guys playing. Do you think Dante is going to be? Yeah, yeah, Dante will be fine. Like the week been like? Uh, first week's been great. We just need to finish up on a positive note on Sunday with getting a win. So I appreciate you guys. Hey, thank you.